Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Headline reads, YouTube tests hiding dislike counts on videos. The end of the dislike button is near. Huh. Why? Uh, <laughs> well, Will, let me explain to you, man. First off, since we're talking about like and dislike buttons, reminder. Like this to video? To use the right button. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. No, don't use the wrong button. I know that it's sometimes hard to tell, Will. This thumb's going different ways. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure all of the dislikes we ever get are just people that misinterpreted the buttons. That's all. Yeah, is. the mouse slipped a little bit. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Right. Yeah. So what YouTube is saying is that people, creators, they're getting fatigued. You know, they're down. They're getting down uh. and upset and depressed. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. At a certain point, if you don't have the content, if people stop uploading or they're just not into it as much because they're constantly getting thumbs down or whatever, negative. Now, by the way, it's just that's part of life, right? Like sometimes something goes well, something doesn't go well, you want to be informed. Like often, like maybe not all the time, maybe not all criticism is constructive, but oftentimes if I saw something people didn't, that weren't into, I will use that information. I would say thank you very much. Let's try to improve. But there also is a point where people maybe are getting a kick out of pushing people around, mm -hmm. like bombing them. Maybe there are situations where a person wants to make somebody else feel bad, organizes each other to make somebody feel bad. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these social media sites have been targeting the attacks on other on individuals like anybody calling out or calling on mm -hmm. another individual and they try to discourage it or flag videos or remove monetization or whatever incentives there are so there's that piece of we get rid of the button creators are happier they spend less time reflecting on the dislikes people are probably less likely to leave a dislike but, oh, by the way, I should say the dislike button isn't gone. It's just a dislike count. You can scroll down and see what the feature will look like right there. And uh, I'll just say exactly what YouTube said. I will read their response. So you can see here in this demo, you have 978 up. You can dislike the video and the creator will see the number of dislikes, but it's not displayed as a bar like a voting system, how it is now. It's this like shifting bar. And it doesn't say the number. It just says dislike. That's it. Here's, here's, here's a quote directly from YouTube. In response to creator feedback around well-being and targeted dislike campaigns, we're testing a few new designs that don't show the public dislike count. If you're part of this small experiment, you might spot one of these designs in the coming weeks. Creators, you'll still be able to see the exact number of likes and dislikes in YouTube Studio. For viewers, if you're in the experiment, you can still like or dislike a video to share feedback with creators and help tune the recommendations you see on YouTube. Hmm. Now, it's fine to say all that, yeah. but truth be told, it's not a fair match now between like and dislike. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to dislike something and I can't even see the number go up, I'm just less likely to use the feature. Mm -hmm. Same with the like button. If yes. all the numbers were gone, it was just like, what am I doing? What am I contributing? Like the number is big to potential users. Yeah. So you can't just say, hey, you're still free to dislike. Like you are trying to encourage less dislikes, mm -hmm. which maybe you can have a conversation around that. Yeah. Maybe you can have a conversation about that. However, if you read... The thread of comments underneath this announcement, which took place on Twitter from YouTube's official account, a lot of people are saying we need that dislike button. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are saying this is the way that we can communicate. Uh, it's a tool that we have when somebody does something horribly wrong. Yeah. And that we don't agree with. Mm -hmm. There's some merit there. 
Absolutely. But ultimately, what is YouTube? What are they doing? Oh, I don't know. It's a platform to deliver advertisements to you. That's the business. Mm -hmm. No matter what slogan they put on it. And it's fine. I think it's a the best model we have for video and content and sharing and the internet in general. Mm -hmm. It is what gave birth to all this. Mm -hmm. That model. And I'm telling you right now, for everybody acting like you could do it some other way, go do it some other way. Go do it some other way, charging people money to watch things. Because I don't see it yet. I mean, I suppose on the TV with bigger budget content like Netflix and stuff, you have people, there's no ad support there. You pay for it. But those prices have been going up, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. As far as, you know, a lot of the stuff you interact with on the internet sponsorships ads they make it possible they bring the attention and the development from people and the investment from people because they know they can turn it into a profession mm -hmm. and then youtube sits there and looks and they go what's happening to our professionals oh they got a boatload of emails from people saying i got this targeted dislike campaign or or uh I'm just not feeling motivated to post or whatever because i'm i'm feeling a lot of i'm getting a lot of this and youtube's like wait a sec But it is a problem, man. It's not cut and dry. It's a problem for me, too. I'm sitting there looking at it like, ugh. I don't know. I'm conflicted. Mm -hmm. I think the dislike can be useful. Absolutely. I hear that side of it. But also, as a content creator, I, I realize... <sighs> people can put a lot of effort into something. Uh -huh. And they live or die by the button. One click and the time investment of like 30 seconds to watch something boom death mm -hmm. but at the end of the day when you talk about advertisers and advertising if there's no human beings there to watch it to advertise to because they're sick of not having their voice heard or feeling like they're a part of the community then you broke the system in that way too so they had to feel represented also in the fact that they have some level of feedback available to them. Yeah. I think that one point that you made where, you know, with the interactions of likes and dislikes, uh, I think the engagement level will be lower now because it's only the like. You only see the like counter. Mm -hmm. So what's the point of liking something if you don't see the dislikes? Right. It's... Uh, well, it, we we have that elsewhere, right? On Instagram is how it works. It's only yeah. it's only likes. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, like all the other social media decided early on that it was, for whatever reason, dangerous to them or the brands or whatever, the posters, to have uh, that negative sentiment in there. Mm -hmm. So you just have likes and people do. They, people like like crazy on Instagram. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. YouTube is one of the rare places in social media that has defended and maintained mm -hmm. the true dislike and ratio bar. Mm -hmm. And you got to think that they're looking at all the other social media and they're getting the feedback they're getting and they're meeting with the psychiatrists and everyone else and they're saying, you know, you should price and have that over there. Yeah. But we'll see. And of course, you guys will weigh in. You let me know in the comments. What's the right balance? Is this it? Like maintaining the dislike button, but eliminating some of its prominence by removing the count? Keep it exactly the way that it is? What should be done here? I mean, you get to vote just with your comment. Mm -hmm. You see, you get to be heard. I look at the comments. We look at the comments. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it to YouTube, actually. If you have some really, if you have some really interesting feedback about it, by the way, I'll bring it to YouTube. I'll send an email. All right. Uh, so I'll read you what your thoughts are on it. I think it's a big issue. I think I think I think it's a really yeah critical decision.